have thought that Nia was a blade too. Why didn't you tell us, Nia? I just didn't, okay? No, it's not okay. <sighs> you lot really are just children, aren't you? Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand one day. Hey, you know, me, Rex, Nia, we've all got some kind of deep blade connection going on with us, haven't we? To tell the truth, I am a little envious, Lady Morag. You know, I'm sure it could be arranged. Would it leave a scar? That's kind of part of the bargain. In that case, maybe not. No, that's not what I meant. It's just... Oh. <laughs> Relax. Much as I appreciate the sentiment, I wouldn't want you to harm yourself. I am sorry. Anyway, what do we do now? It's all well and good that we escaped, but we've got nothing to show for it. Don't worry. I know where we have to go. Are you sure, Rex? You know Pyra's location? I think so. Near the World Tree. I see a rotten titan. She's there. A rotting titan? Could it be? What is it? Morag knows such a place? Close by the world tree, against the side of the Great Void, I've heard there's a titan known as the Cliffs of Moritha. Moritha? That name sounds familiar. Lady Morag, there are tales. Tales of a land of the dead and the cliffs that lead into its depths. Yes, indeed. The land of Moritha. A place no living soul has ever witnessed. Well then, 